Hello, everybody. Welcome to Mount Olive High School here in Mount Olive, New Jersey. Tonight's matchup is the Sparta Spartans against the Mount Olive Marauders. The Sparta Spartans come in with a record of 3-2. and two. They're led by their 13th year head coach, Frank Marciano. They're also led by quarterback Austin Futera and running back Josh Brancy. Brancy coming off an injury. Brancy coming off an injury. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if he plays tonight. And Brendan Cabrera who filled in nicely last week at Roxbury, could get some of the action as well. As far as Mount Olive is concerned, they're led by head coach Brian O'Connor, who's in his seventh year as head coach. Uh, Mount Olive comes in with a record of 0-6. Uh, they're led by sophomore quarterback Jason, Jake Asbury uh, and running back another sophomore, Tyler Cumming, as well as a wide receiver, Jack Mullery. Uh, should be a great game in store for tonight. Uh, Two teams that are, are really looking at sort of different directions. Sparta trying to get on track to get to the playoffs, and Mount Olive trying to find their first win of the season. Uh, other interesting notes here. Uh, Sparta has won three games, as I mentioned earlier, and uh, they seem to really be a team every year under Frank Marciano. Since he really took it, taken over for Pat Shea, uh, they've, been, they've been really, really good. Um, and, you know, so it's not surprising to see them in the playoff hunt here and seeing if they could make it work. Uh, last season, these teams played against each other. Mount Olive beat Sparta 13-0, and Sparta, I'm sure, is looking for some revenge tonight. Uh, before that, the last time these two teams played uh, was 2013, and that was a Sparta win. They actually won three straight against Mount Olive in 2013, 2012, and 2011. Big wins for Sparta uh, back in those days. And then, of course, in 2010, they, Mount Olive beat Sparta by a score of 20 to 10. So everything's ready and set to go. The coin flip has happened. And we're going to get set for our national anthem here at Mount Olive High School here in Mount Olive, New Jersey. Sparta Spartans and the Mount Olive Marauders. Please, please rise for the presentation of colors by Mount Olive Air Force Junior ROTC Cadet Corps. The National Anthem will be played by Mount Olive High School Marching Band. Back to Mount Olive High School here in Mount Olive, New Jersey. A, the national anthem beautifully done by the Mount Olive Arching, Marching Band. A beautiful job there of uh, the greatest country in the world, their national anthem. Uh, I mentioned earlier that Sparta played Roxbury last week. And I, I apologize. Mount Olive played Roxbury next week, and they lost 34-0. Uh, Sparta's coming off a win against Jefferson where they won 35-7. to um, they also played against West Morris. They lost that one, 43-7. Ramapo, they lost 49-14. Uh, and then it was Sparta, or excuse me, they, they beat Vernon 35-20, and then Lake Whitland 48-14. Uh, as far as Mount Olive is concerned, I mentioned earlier, they have yet to win a game this year. They lost against West Orange before 
uh, Roxbury, after Ro before Roxbury, excuse me, uh, they played Morristown as well, West Morris and Randolph as well so far this year. So it looks like it's going to be Mount Olive kicking off. Mount Olive dressed in her home uniforms. Sparta, of course, in their road whites. Smoke in the air. Look, beautiful night for a game. I mean, if you like football, this is football weather. It's a little chilly. I wouldn't say it's, it's you know, perfect out, but a little bit wind in the air. It's a little crisp, but it's perfect football weather as we get started here at Mount Olive High School. Kick is in the air. It's got a good distance to field at about the nine-yard line by Sparta, taken, taken down at the 24-yard line. That's where Sparta will take over first and 10 to start their first drive. I mentioned also Fatura is the Sparta quarterback. He's had a great year this season. The defense for Mount Olive, Joseph Drew is somebody you should keep an eye on. He's had a big year. And also Tyler coming as well uh, for this team. But as we get going, you'll get more and more familiar with these players. Sparta's uh, shotgun formation, this is normal for them. They run a spread offense. That's Fatura back there in shotgun formation. A fake, it throws, and it's into the, to the line of scrimmage. There was pressure there on Fatura, number 43. And Moscatello brought this pressure on Fatura, and he had to get rid of it quickly and threw it into the back of the line of scrimmage. No penalties there for intentional grounding. I guess there was a running back in the area or something like that, but it's going to be second down and 10 for Sparta. So uh, they like to throw the ball. They like to, to spread offense, and Matt Olive bringing it here in the first play of the game. Second and 10. Two receivers to the right. He fires it. That's complete from Fatura. Joe Abruz, excuse me, that's uh, Nick Ryan for Sparta. Takes it. It's getting about eight for Ryan. So Sparta's going to have a third and two here. So Matt Olive coming in as the underdog. It'd be a big, big win here if they could stop this team here on offense. Snap is good. Hands off. And it's a short gain. He might be short of the first down. It's going to be close. He was no gain on that. Great job by the Mount Olive defense. As it's be fourth down for Sparta. So we'll see what Frank Marciano does here early on in this game. Will he go for it or will he punt it? Ball is at his own 32-yard line. So looks like they're going to go for it. Fratura is in the shotgun formation. Two receivers to his right, one to his left. He looks around, gets a signal. Maybe trying to get the Mount Olive defense to jump off sides here. Sparta's taking their time. Now making a realignment. The handoff up the middle. First down and more for Sparta. Beautiful job by the offensive line opening up a hole there. And it's a first down. For Sparta. They're going to have first and 10 at their 37-yard line. Fatera looks, rushes on the outside, gets taken down out of bounds. Short gain, maybe two. Ripped out of bounds, number five, Jackson Utes. Ripping it out of bounds for Mount Olive. As he tried to pass the ball, could not find a receiver. That's going to be second down and long for the Spartans. Hand off from Futura again. Up the middle. Stopped by Mount Olive, a short gain. Maybe four. And it's gonna be third down for the Spartans. Third and about three. Just getting underway here at Mount Olive High School. Sparta Spartans, Mount Olive Marauders. Clayton Caldwell here with you tonight. Broadcasting this game. Futura looks to his left, fires. Complete first down for Sparta and more. He takes it out of bounds right about the 45-yard line of Mount Olive. That's Finn Mel for the Spartans, number 11. 6'5", senior. 
with the first down for the Spartans. First and 10 at the 47 yard line of Mount Olive. Fatura looks, barking signals to his running back. Fake handoff, throws to the right. It's complete, but he's hit as he soon as starting the ball is. What are they going to rule it? Incomplete. It was popped out. Great play by number four for Jakuri Zapata, number four for Mount Olive. Hit number nine, Nick Ryan, as soon as he tried to catch it. Popped it out. Incomplete pass. It's going to be second down. So you got to like what you've seen so far. If you're a Mount Olive fan in their defense, Sparta's not moving the ball as well as they would like, I'm sure. Here, at least here early on in this first in this first drive. 9 one to play in the first quarter. Fatura looks to his left. Rolls to his right. Has to be sacked. Go, down goes Fatura. For 21, Tana Perez from Mount Olive, the sophomore, 180-pound sophomore, breaks through the line. An outstanding job of a sack and a loss of about eight for Mount Olive. Tana Perez, a huge play there for Mount Olive. As you take a look at this replay, as you can see, he goes through un untouched, really. And just great job by Fatura to try and see him, but could not get away from him. Now they're going to dump it off. But take it down. It was Nick Ryan who had the ball. Take it down by Mount Olive, way short of a first down. They didn't even get a yard on that play. So it's going to be fourth and about 17 for Sparta. I, I know Frank Marciano likes to go for it a lot, but I don't think he's going to go for it on 4th and 17. They're going to punt here. So a good job by the Mount Olive defense to hold them here, keep Sparta on their own side, and Sparta, force Sparta to punt. Kick is in the air. Number 15 punting for Sparta. Ball rolls. Gets to about the 23-yard line. And that's where Mount Olive is going to take over first and 10. So Mount Olive stops Sparta on the first drive. They take over with 7.34 to go here in the first quarter. Just to remind you, if you're enjoying this broadcast and you want your game broadcasted with a professional telecast like this, reach out to George Buha at george at morrisussexsports.com and we'll get your next game in any sport on the air. And even though we are called Morris Sussex Sports, we're always happy to come to your county and broadcast your next game. First play for Mount Olive for on offense. Up to the right side, up left side of the field, excuse me. Gain of about six for the Marauders. Number 33, Rondell Derrick. Rondell Derrick, the running back, yeah. sophomore, 175-10. One, one That's who ran the ball. Good gain there. It's going to be second and six. Motion to the left. Now motion back to the right. Hands off again. That is again Derek. He doesn't get much. Stopped. Number 33. Nicholas Swicer for Sparta on the stop. It's going to be third down. Getting about two. It's going to be third and four for Mount Olive. Andrew Drennan, the quarterback. And the shotgun looks to his right. Fires to his right, and it is completed. To be close to a first down. Great job by the Sparta defense. Number 10, Greg Peters was there for Sparta. The pass was completed to Ant Moscatello, and he is close to a first down. It is a first down for Mount Olive. The referees just ruled it. First and 10, Mount Olive at their 33-yard line. Fresh set of downs for the Marauders. Shotgun formation for Drennan again. He gets it. Hands off. That's Derek. Derek goes to his left. Gets a few yards. Gets taken down. Number 13, brother Derek. Number 13 for Sparta. Matthew Schweizer on a stop. Second and six for. Matt Olive. 542 to play in the first quarter. No score. Sparta had a drive. Couldn't get past into Matt Olive's territory. Now Matt Olive's trying. Hands off again. That is Derek. 
Derek dances, gets to the hole. Close to a first down, he got it and more. Getting about six. So you gotta like what you've seen so far from Rondell Derrick, the sophomore, 5'10", 170. For Mount Olive. And not only are they their second first down, but they're getting closer and closer to Sparta territory. Drennan and shotgun again. Hands off again, that's Derrick. He goes, finds some room to the right side of the field. Close to the half to the midfield mark, about a yard short. Gain of about five. Swizer again on the stop for Sparta. Second and five. No huddle offense for Mount Olive. This is standard with these two offenses. They like to run the spread. Drennan and shotgun again. And Derek takes it himself again up to the left hand side and he's got some room to the 45, up to the 42 yard line of Sparta. First down, Mount Olive. Rondell Derek with a big gain there for Mount Olive. He's had a big first drive here for the Marauders and they are in Sparta territory at Sparta's 42 yard line. Really nice looking drive so far for the Marauders. Trying it again. Hands off, and that's again Derek. He goes to the right. They find something that they like there. Gains about three or four. It's going to be second and seven. So they've run that play a lot so far here early on in this game. Rondell Derek, the running back, having a big start to this game for Mount Olive. Drennan 6 1. Senior. Takes the calls, hands off again, it's Derek. This time to the other side of the field. There's some room, but there's a flag on a play. He goes to the 30, to the 25, where he's tripped up there by Sparta, but there is a flag, and you have to wonder if this is coming back. Looked like it was in the area of a hold for Mount Olive. We'll see what the referee calls here. It is a hold on Mount Olive. Yeah, it was thrown so early in the play, that's what exactly it looked like. And so, as a positive drive that Monolith's had, where they've pretty much moved the ball on every single play, now halts here, and they, not only that, get a penalty that drops them back to second and about 18 for them. Let's see if they can continue the momentum. Drenham has it. Flags on a play, could be, could be a neutral zone infraction on Sparta. We'll see what they rule. Dead ball, and it is a neutral zone infraction on the Spartans. So. Mount Olive tries the hard count here, gets Sparta to jump, and they move the ball up and get a free, a free five yards, and now it's going to be second and 12 for Mount Olive. 3.27 to play here in the first quarter. No score. Trying to end shotgun again. Takes it, looks, fires to his right, it's complete. That's Joe Bruski on the catch for Mount Olive. He gets ripped down. Number 22, Josh Brancy. The running back. The linebacker, excuse me, for Sparta there. Brancy, the junior, 5'11", 180. Rips him down for a short gain. It's going to be third and nine for Mount Olive. Getting their signals. Ball's at the 41-yard line. It's going to be interesting to see what happens here if Mount Olive can't get this third down. Sparta looks like they're going to bring some pressure. They're going to wait. Taking their time, now he's barking signals to the offensive lineman. Play clock at five. Drennan takes it. Looks to his left, looks deep. Has time, but he gets sacked. Sparta rips him down. Number 52 for the Spartans. Tog Herbenson was there for Sparta. There's also another Spartan there as well. That's a big sack for the Spartans. And they're gonna get Mount Olive off the field here. And a ball in pretty decent field position. Mount Olive on the punt. Kick is away. High spiraling kick. Sparta lets it bounce at the 
about the 22-yard line. It's going to roll and roll and roll. Not a good decision there by the Spartans. Ball will roll to the three-yard line. That's where they'll take over first and ten. Josh Brancy was the re receiver there for the Spartans who decided to let it bounce. It'll actually mark down. It looks like it's a four-yard line, and that's where Sparta will take over first and ten here. Uh, so far, a pretty equal matchup so far between Sparta and Mount Olive. Very good game so far. If you're liking what you're listening to, please help us out and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We broadcast 20 to 30 games a week and telecast all the big playoff games, county championships, and the best game in the area. So don't. So by subscribing, you won't miss a thing. Don't worry, we won't spam you. First down for Sparta. Ball at their four-yard line. Buck 15 to play here in the first quarter. Fratura in shotgun. Now barking signals to his running back. Has it. Hands off up. Goes to the right. Hit by Mount Olive. A pile of marauders there to shut him down. Only a few, few yards, maybe four or five for Sparta. It's going to be second and five. Just under a minute to go here in the first quarter. Second down for Sparta. Sparta's first drive fizzled out around the 48 yard. They're on 48 yard line. They're going to see if they can do better this time. Fratura has motion to his right now. That's Ryan. Hands off. To the left side, he gets taken down about the 12 yard line. Darren Miller from Mount Olive with the, with the tackle. It's going to be third and short. Third and about three. Maybe a short two for the Spartans. They have two receivers to Fratura's right. One lined up to his right, to his left, excuse me, and a setback to his left. He has it. Hands off. That's Fratura actually taking him himself. Fooled me that fake. Up the middle for a Sparta first down. Also Fratura, who can run. He's run a few times this year. He's done a good job moving the ball with his feet. And he's done a good job here to get a Sparta first down. And that will mark the end of the first quarter. With your score, a Sparta Spartan zero, Mount Olive Marauder zero. You're watching more Sussex Sports here. Tonight. Sussex Meatpacking in Wharton, New Jersey is a family owned and operated business specializing in USDA prime and choice meats, pork, poultry, lamb, veal, and many other store-made specialty items. They also have a fantastic deli, a wonderful market with all the freshest fruits, veggies, and pre-made meals, and they can cater any event, including your family holiday dinners, more delicious than you can on your own. Visit them at sussexmeat.com. Blue Nail Roofing and Siding, come home to craftsmanship. If you're even considering roofing, solar, siding, windows, doors, gutters, Blue Nail Roofing and Siding is a local family business with the best customer reviews in this part of America that you can truly trust. In Mount Olive, New Jersey, score 0-0 between Sparta and Mount Olive. We're about ready to start the second quarter. Tonight's game is brought to you by the National Football Foundation, specifically the Morris chapter of the National Football Foundation. With the help of the generous support by Atlantic Health System and the New York Jets, our mission is to promote the use of amateur football for the development of leadership, sportsmanship, and athletic and academic excellence in Morris County's youth people by giving a scholar athlete to one football player at each team in Morris, Sussex, and parts of Warren County. So we also like to thank the Sparta Football Booster Club for having us here tonight as well. Sparta first, Sparta's going to have it. First and 10. Ball's at their 17-yard line. Fratura looks, he has it. Fires get, get under pressure. He goes deep. Ball is incomplete. Good job there. Number 14, Jack Mullery on the coverage. The intended receiver for Sparta was number 20, John. Number 24, it looks like there, for Sparta. Actually, Nick Martino, number 28, excuse me. He was the intended target there. Florida Spartans can be second down. So Fratura went long there, but good job, good defense so far by Matt Olive. Fratura again, hand, this time he hands it off. Goes up the middle, ball's loose. We'll see who has it. It's going to be Matt Olive football. Wow. A big turnover for the Spartans in their own territory at their 20 yard line. Matt Olive jumped on it. Looked like maybe number 68 for Matt Olive. Gavin Pindendorfer, the defensive tackle, the senior. Jumped on it for Sparta. We'll see, get a better chance at it. Yeah, it looks like it was hit. And a bunch of Mount, Mount Olive players was, were on top of that ball. And it was number 68 for Mount Olive. 
Again, that's uh, the senior, Gavin Pittendorfer. 5'11", 240, big play in this game. Now Mount Olive's crowd starting to get into it. Who can blame them? They're going to start first and 10 at, their, at Sparta's 20-yard line. Andrew Denon, the quarterback. Drennan, excuse me, is the quarterback. He's in the shotgun formation. He's got two receivers to his left. The handoff, that is Rondell Derrick. Derrick only gets a few, if any. Dragged out of bounds. Hunter Cholulnik for Sparta. Ripping him out of bounds, number three. The sophomore. That'll mark second and long. No gain on that play. Mount Olive coming in at 0-6. They look pretty good tonight so far. Got to be pleased if you're head coach Kevin O'Connor. Drennan in shotgun. Motion now to the right. He takes it. He pitches it this time to Derek. Derek goes to the left. Has some room. Gets hit hard. Number two, Bowie Rodriguez for Sparta with the tackle. Maybe a yard, if that, for Mount Olive. And now Sparta's defense, who weren't given the best of circumstances here on that fumble with Mount Olive starting on their 20-yard line, has come up strong on the first two plays and make it third and long for Mount Olive. Let's see what Mount Olive's got up their sleeve here. On third and long, they need a big play. Two receivers to the left, two to the right. Derek in the backfield with Drennan. Drennan talking to Derek. He snaps, looks to his left, pump fakes, now fires to his left. Deep down the field, over the head, and incomplete. That is incomplete. Number 43, Anthony Moscatello Ant Mos was the intended receiver for Mount Olive. So that play didn't materialize the way the Marauders thought. And an interesting decision here for Kevin O'Connor. Fourth down and long. Could kick it, or he could go for it. Matt Olive got the ball out there at Sparta's 20-yard line on a fumble. And haven't been able to get a yard in three plays. And now they're going to try and go for it here on fourth and long. Drennan set two receivers to his right, two to his left. And, of course, Derek in the backfield. That's Rondell Derek, who's had a big game so far. For the Marauders. Derek. Drennan has it. Looks to his left. Escapes. Has some room. Takes it to the 15. To the 10. He's close to a first down. He might be a yard short. Big tackle there by Sparta. That's number three. Hunter Chol Cholonicki. He might be a yard short. It depends where really the referees spot this ball. They're going to give it first down Sparta. So Mount Olive will turn it over on downs. you got to give it there to Jenin, who did a good job moving out of the pocket. Didn't see anything materialize. Nearly got a first down, but he's a yard short. Sparta will take over first and 10 at their own 11-yard line. Good job by the Spartans' defense there. Uh, again, it wasn't the ideal circumstances, said at least for the Spartans, to go out and have their marauders on their own 20-yard line and to stop them in four plays and really not let them get a yard for three plays and then sort of an escape route there uh, for Mount Olive and now Sparta takes over first and 10. That's the outside now. Number 22 for Sparta. Josh Brancy. Junior. Big gain there. First down for, for the Spartans. Gain of 11. 5-11-180. Brancy's frame. Fratura. Has two receivers to his left for this one. One to his right. Takes off that fake to Brancy. He escapes to his right, gets, gets out of one tackle, but it's not enough. Too much pressure there for Mount Olive. Look like number five, Jackson Youths on the sack. Only a loss of about two, but a nice job again. As you look, take a look at it again here by Mount Olive and exactly what happens. Fratero is going to go to his right, and really number 21 was unblocked. That's Perez, and it was taken down. I, I had the wrong guy there. I had number five. It looked like it was maybe number 26, Dan McGarry, on a sack for uh, Mount Olive. Now it's Brancy to the left side, takes it. He's hit right about the original line of scrimmage. That's Lincoln Youths. Number 22. The sophomore. Buck 85, and he stands at 5'11". Big hit there on Brancy, and it makes the third and long for Sparta. So big plays here for the Spartans. They got to get a first down here. 
they got to gain some positive yardage here on third down to, to avoid a potential fourth and long and maybe even a punt. If you're on the Mount Olive side of things, you're looking at it saying, we got to hold them. Two receivers to, to Fatura's right, two to his left. He has it. He looks to his left, has some time. Now, now tries to escape. Some pressure. Throws it down the middle of the field. Incomplete. Now it's just incomplete. So we bring up a fourth down. Fourth down. Sparta. For, for Sparta. Number 26, that's again Dan McGarry, who had the sack on the uh, previous plays, bringing the pressure for Mount Olive. Great job by the sophomore. Making Fratura move his feet, had to throw it toward the center of the field where he really didn't want to throw it. And it's incomplete. It's going to be fourth and long, and Sparta's going to punt. Jacori Zapata, deep for Mount Olive. Kick is in the air. It's good. It's a long, fast kick. It'll bounce about the 35 yard line. So Perry's going to let it bounce, go to the 30, to the 28 yard line. And that's where Mount Olive's going to take over first and 10 of four, being officially down there by Greg Peters for Sparta. And Mount Olive's going to take over first and 10. 8.44 to go here in the second quarter. Mount Olive 0, Sparta 0. But very good game so far. Again, today's game is brought to you by the National Football Foundation, specifically the Greater Morris Chapter of the National Football Foundation with the help of generous support by Atlantic Health System and the New York Jets. Our mission is to promote the use of amateur football for the development of leadership of amateur sport, uh, sportsmanship and athletic and academic excellence in Morris County's young people by giving a scholar athlete to one football player at each team in Morris, Sussex, and parts of Warren Counties. We'd also like to thank the Sparta Football Booster Club for having us tonight here on Morris and Sussex Sports. First and 10 mile, they're going to take over right around their 28-yard line. Andrew Dredden, the quarterback for Mount Olive. Snap, hands off. That's Derek again. Dances to his right, gets some, has some room. Gets taken down by Sparta after maybe a two-yard gain. Bradley Dane. Look like now, number 50. Two there on the stop. That's Tag Herbison for Sparta. It's going to be second down for Mount Olive. Spread offense for both of these teams, so their offense is going to look pretty similar. Two to the right, two to the left for Drennan. Barkin signals to his offensive lineman, now steps back and he's ready for the snap. He has it and there's flags, whistles. It looks like maybe they weren't officially set or delay, delay a game, false excuse start. me, on Mount Olive. Could have been a false start too. I thought it was a delay a game. That's what it looked like to me. Still a five yard penalty for Mount Olive. So after the two yard gain, they lose a couple. It looks like it's going to be a second and 14 for the Marauders. Drennan likes to, they don't huddle, so he likes to kind of tell the offensive lineman exactly what play they're running. He rolls back, fires it for a screen pass to Derek. Derek breaks a tackle, but can't, can't escape a second one. Gets taken down right around the, their own 20 yard line. Number 13 for Sparta, that's Matthew Swizer on the stop. Also there was Vincent Rispoli, the sophomore. And it makes a, a third and about 17 for Mount Olive. They had a good first drive, the Marauders, but Sparta stopped them on their own 20 yard line. They couldn't get a first down and now backed up in their own territory here on third and about 17. 7 18 to go here in the second quarter. No score. Trips to the right now and one to the left. Ball's loose on the ground, picked up by Sparta. The snap went off the hands of Drennan and it is recovered by Sparta, number 50. Therefore, the Spartans, Bradley Maines, the middle linebacker, the, the sophomore, picked up the fumble after Drennan just couldn't corral that one. And what a bad break for the Marauders and a great break for the Spartans. They're going to start first and 10. As you can see, take a look at it again here. Drennan ready for the snap. He looks ready and just didn't catch it. Bounced right off his hands and, and give credit to Bradley Maine. Sometimes when that ball is right in front of you, it takes you a second to react to realize what just happened. 
and he reacted right away, jumped on it, and Sparta takes over. First and 10, ball is at the Marauder 18-yard line. Fratura has it. It's a handoff up the middle. Short gain, if any. Bunch of Marauders there. 26, you can see Dan Magara there. Number 21, also Tanner Perez, the sophomore in that pile as well. Second down for the Spartans. Maybe a gain of two. Second and about eight. 6.48 to play until half. No score here in Mount Olive. Fatura in shotgun. Hands off out to the outside. He falls. Oh, man, what a tough break as he fell on, on the run there. Maybe a yard for the Spartans to be third down. So let's see what the Spartans dial up here. 6-11 to play till half. Third and eight. Fratera has it, and he hands off, takes it himself, excuse me, goes to his right, fires to the right, complete. First down and more for Sparta. Can they get in the end zone? Touchdown, Spartans! Finn Mel punches it in after catching it about the four yard line took a couple of marauders with him to get past the goal line and put Sparta in front 6-0 you have to feel for the marauder defense there did a good job holding the Spartans let's take a look at this touchdown here again a good job by Fratura good fake they sold it it bought him some time he rolled to his right fired found a wide open uh, Finn Mel who again dragged a couple of Marauders defensemen on him into the end zone at 6-0 Spartans. The extra point is through and your score here in Mount Olive. The Sparta Spartans 7, the Mara Mount Olive Marauders 0. We'll be back right after this. You're watching more Sussex Sports. Be done right. Count on it. Start the conversation now about your next project. Visit BlueNailNJ.com for a complimentary consultation. Blue Nail Roofing and Siding. Come home to craftsmanship. Stop by Anthony Franco's of Sparta and Roxbury after the game where we believe that quality and satisfaction go hand in hand. We take great care to author authentic New York style pizza as well as many classic and modern Italian dishes without compromising on cost or relying on ingredients that are frozen or preserved. Our ingredients come from Wisconsin's finest dairies. We order pasta made weekly at one of Brooklyn's oldest pasta houses. Welcome back here on More Sussex Sports. This is Mount Olive High School. Sparta Spartans in the Battle of Marauders. 7 0 Spartans. They just went ahead with a touchdown pass to Finn Mel from Austin Fratura. Fratura going to Holy Cross, and he showed it there. Escaped to his right, threw it to Mel, found him wide open, and, and Mel just dragged a couple Marauder defensemen into the end zone for the score. But you have to be happy if you're Kevin O'Connor with how this team at Mount Olive has hung in this game so far. But their offense has been stopped their last two drives as Sparta will kick off here. Ball will be fielded about the 10-yard line. Gets up to the 20, to the 25, and that's where Mount Olive, right around the 25-yard line where Mount Olive will take over Bowie Rodriguez on the stop. It was Shakori Zapata on the return for Mount Olive. But as I was saying, you have to be pleased if you're Mount Olive. They had a good first drive, really moved the ball well, and, and it was a... Uh, kind of a surprise early on how well they moved the ball, but the last two drives have stalled. They got the ball at the 20-yard line of Sparta, couldn't score, and then they got backed up in their own territory and fumbled, and Sparta took over right around their 18-yard line and punched it in to give them a score. So really, it's been a game of turnovers and what you've been able to do with them. Manal wasn't able to, to score with theirs, and Sparta was able to punch it in. First and 10 for Manal. Three receivers, two to the left, Two to the right, one to the left, excuse me. That's Derek in the backfield next to Drennan. Drennan has it, he pitches it to Derek. Derek takes it, gets to about the 25-yard line before getting gobbled up there by Sparta. That's number three, Hunter Scholnicki. The sophomore, 5'9", 178 on the stop for Sparta. Gain of maybe one, it's going to be second in about nine for Mount Olive. This is a key drive for the Marauders if you want to stay in this football game. They have to move the ball and have to at least even switch the field position a little bit here for the Spartans. Drennan has it. Looks to his right, fires, and it's almost intercepted. 
Oh man, number 22 for Sparta, that's Josh Brancy. Bounced off his hands. Almost took it to the house there too. He was had some field in front of him, but it bounced off his hands as a, as the pass was attended to number 43, Ant Moscatello. Andrew Drennan, the quarterback, just didn't see him and almost threw a pick six, and that would have been a big game-changing play here. And fortunate for Mount Olive, they sell the ball here on third and nine. Drennan now talking to his lineman again. Ships to the right. Snap is good. Drennan looks to his right, fires, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Sparta, number 10, Greg Peters, with the interception for the Spartans. He gets taken down about the 30-yard line, and that's where Sparta will take over first and 10. So they got backed up at third and long and forced into a pass situation, and Sparta read that route perfectly. Great job by Greg Peters, the junior, six foot 180 for the Spartans. You can see him here lining up on the right side of the field, and he just reads this play beautifully, takes it, and just moves over to his left and just picks it off. The intended target again was Moscatello for Mount Olive. But Peters stepped in front. And if you're Frank Marciano, you have to be pleased. Got off to a little bit of a, of a slow start for the Spartans. Didn't move the ball as well. Their defense sort of let Mount Olive roll, roll down the field here in that first drive. But since then, it's been all Sparta Spartans. And with 4.57 to go here in the second quarter, the Spartans lead 7-0. If you're enjoying this broadcast and you want your game broadcasted with a professional Kel test like this one, reach out to George Muha. He's a great guy. You can reach him at george at morrissessexports.com and we'll get your next game in any sport on the air. And even though we are called Morris Sussex Sports, it doesn't mean we're going to strictly do sports in Morris Sussex counties. We'll do any county. We'll be happy to come to your county and broadcast your game here if you're watching. So make sure to reach out to George Muha, George at MorrisSussexSports.com. First and 10 Spartans. Ball at the 31 yard line of, of Mount Olive. Fratura has it, hands off, that's number eight. Takes it to the outside, has some room. Gets a, close to a first down. Right in the play. But there is a flag on the play here for the Spartans. We'll see what they call, it might be a hold. Flag was some pretty early. And it's gonna be a hold on the Spartans. So a positive drive that almost got a first down. Now they move back into about the, where are they gonna spot this ball? It looks like maybe a 41 yard line. That's where Sparta will have it. So a big penalty. First and 20 for the Spartans. Let's see what Sparta can do here. Now the drive not going the way they, they wanted it to start. Fratura. Has the ball, looks to his left, now looks to his right, moves to his right, fires down the field. Has a receiver wide open in the end zone. Oh, off his hands and it completes. Nick Ryan, the intended target, and just couldn't corral it in the end zone. Good job, give some credit to number 23, Jacob Thomas, the, the senior, 5'10", 175. There on the coverage for Mount Olive, was able to break that pass up there, but off the hands of Nick Ryan, and they complete. It's going to be second down for the Spartans. A good arm, and you see why Fratura is highly regarded. Can throw, chuck it real deep down the field. Did a good job there, throwing it into the end zone. Just couldn't complete it. It's going to be second down and 20 for the Spartans. Two receivers to the left, two receivers to the right, excuse me, one to the left, and there's movement. Whether that's on Sparta or Mount Olive, we'll, we'll find out here. It's going to be a false start on Sparta, so here we go. Interesting drive here so far for Sparta. They got ran their first play, gained 10 yards, got a holding penalty, brought that back, and now a false start after the first down here. So this will be second and 25, ball placed at the 46-yard line for the Spartans. So not going in the direction they wanted to go here. Fratura has it, fake, hands off to number eight. He's hit at the line, carries a, a defender on his back. Jackson Youths. Down. On, a, on a tackle as well as others marauders were there as well. Short gain, maybe four or five balls at the 41 yard line for Sparta. They got to get to the 21 yard line. So it's going to be third down and 20 for the Spartans. But they're in their own territory. And we know Frank Marciano went for it earlier in the game in a similar situation on fourth down. So you have to think this is fourth down territory here for the Spartans. Let's see what the marauders can dial up here on defense to keep this a seven point game. Fratura has it. Looks to his right, now scrambles a little bit. Fires to his right, deep downfield. It's Ryan again, and it's incomplete. Underthrown, Nick Ryan. Great job there on defense. Looked like number 10 was there for 
Matt Arnold, that's Joe Drew. And it's incomplete, it's gonna be fourth down and long for the Spartans. So Sparta hurting themselves with two penalties, and I mentioned it was four down territory. That looks like that's not gonna be the case. Sparta's in punt formation, that's Kinsella-Jack. Kinsella-Jack, back deep, uh, punting for the Spartans. He's standing about the 45 yard line. Kick is in the air, and it's deep. It's gonna be over the head and into the end zone. That was a pot of deep for Mount Olive. They'll take it to be a touchback, first and 10. So give Mount Olive defense a little credit, although it was really Sparta's offense kind of shooting themselves in the foot there with two, possibly three penalties there uh, and a drop pass in the end zone. And it keeps it a seven point game. So now Mount Olive with 335 here to go till half. Still in this game, 7 0. I mentioned the first drive earlier in this game, I mentioned that Mount Olive moved the ball nicely on their first drive. It was really a lot of. Rondell Derrick, the running back, they really relied heavily on him to move the ball, and they moved it well. And then they were stopped, and they really haven't been able to move the ball since. So what they will dial up here before the half is going to be key into winning this game for Mount Olive. Drennan threw an interception, Andrew Drennan. An interception on his last drive. This time he throws a screen pass. Joe Abruski has it. Gain of a couple of yards. Gain about four. Nine. Bradley Mays recovered a fumble earlier in the game. Looked like he was on the stop there as well as number 69 for Sparta. Alex Yurovayev. Number 69 there, the big guy. He is six foot 280 there in the middle of that line for the Spartans. They got a big defensive line there. So it's to the right, complete. That's again, Abruski. He takes it close to a first down. Gets dragged out of bounds. Josh Brancy dragged him out of bounds. No gain there. Third and six. For Mount Olive. Two twenty-eight to go. They're taking their time here till half. Drennan in shotgun. Now he's got motion to the right, and it looks like there's whistles. We'll see exactly. And Mount Olive is going to take a timeout, and we will too here on Morris Sussex Sports. You're watching Sparta against Flat Olive here on Morris Sussex Sports. The best fresh meat and produce from the Hunts Point Market in the Bronx. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton. Welcome back to Mount Olive High School here in Mount Olive, New Jersey. Your score to Sparta Spartan 7, Mount Olive Marauders 0. Mount Olive's going to have the ball third and about six at their own 25 yard line. Please help us out. If you're liking what you're watching, help us out. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We broadcast 20 to 30 games a week. Who else does that? We will telecast all the big playoff games, the county championships, and the best games in the area. So by subscribing, clicking that subscribe button on YouTube, on YouTube, you won't miss a thing, and we won't spam you. We're going to have all good stuff there on our YouTube page. So please subscribe here on more Sussex Sports. Third down and about six for the Marauders. Drennan, of course, in a shotgun. Two to the left, one to the right. He looks to his left, moves, has some pressure, fires, and it's incomplete. Out of bounds, the intended receiver, Ethan Myers, the senior, was the intended target. Was out of bounds, going to be fourth down for Mount Olive. Early in this game, Mount Olive moved the ball pretty well. But the last three drives have stalled. Especially that one, that was a killer. They looked like they could score a touchdown. It was a, a fumble recovery for Mount Olive at the 20-yard line. That's far as 20. That's going to be the key drive in this game if, if Mount Olive can't come back and win this one, where they're going to sit there and say, we wish we could have done more there. And Sparta held them. Kick is in, punt is in the air. Bounces about the 50-yard line. Takes a Mount Olive bounce. 
to the 35, rolls to the 34, to the 33. Warmount Olive will finally touch it up. First and 10 for Sparta. That's Vincent Carpini. Carpini, excuse me. The sophomore tacking it up for Mount Olive. So Sparta will take over first and 10 at their 33-yard line. So a good punt. A nice change of field position here. Uh, Mount Olive's defense has played pretty well so far. you got to give them a lot of credit. This is a high-powered Sparta offense with a really, really good quarterback. One of the best quarterbacks in the state. And they've held them to seven points so far in the first half. you got to give them a lot of credit. But this is a big drive here for Mount Olive. He looks to his left, fires, and it's complete. Makes a man miss. Gets to the 40, to the 50, to the 45 before he gets dragged down. First down, Josh Brancy. Little screen pass there for Sparta. Gets to the 45, but it may be a flag or an injured player on the field. Looks like an injured player for Mount Olive there. Ball's going to be at the 45-yard line. We'll take a look here at that play again. As you see here, just a, a little dump pass to Brancy, and he was able to make a guy miss there, make another man miss there, and really did it all himself. Gets to the 26, uh, taken down by Damagari, but right at the 45 yard line. We're going to go on break here as this is an injured player for Mount Olive. Seven of Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. Montella Inc. is a family-owned dumpster rental business located in Stanhope, New Jersey that's been around since 1984. We provide prompt, quality service at a reasonable price for our New Jersey customers. Boom. We're back here at Mount Olive High School. First and 10 Sparta at Mount Olive's 45-yard line. The injured player was Jacob Thomas. The senior, he ran off the field, so it looks like he feeling pretty good after that. Maybe it was a quick stinger. First and 10 Spartans. He takes it. Himself gets taken down. Number 27, Lincoln number Youths. Tack tackle for Tura. Short gain, maybe one. And it's going to be second down. As Sparta put a little pep in their step here with only a buck 22 to go in counting. Second down and about nine. For Tura and Shotgun. Looks to his right. Has pressure behind him. He's sacked. Gets taken down. Number six, Ryan Schaefer. On the sack for Mount Olive. A huge sack here. A loss of about 12. And now Sparta's in their own category. They're going to take a timeout. But what a sack by Ryan Schaefer. And I've mentioned earlier Mount Olive's Defense has played, I thought, tremendous football so far. And here they are again. And, and listen, Sparta has one of the best quarterbacks in the, in the, in the state, I should say, and Fratura. And they've helped them with seven points so far in this first half. And now they're going to be a third in, I don't know, <laughs> let's just say long, third and 20 maybe for Sparta here. So another stop. And you're going to force Frank Marciano's hand, maybe force him to punt again. Uh, and if you're Mount Olive, that's the best you can hope for before going to half. Try and keep the score at 7 0. Regroup, figure out some of the stuff you haven't been able to do so hot. Maybe work, maybe emphasize some of the stuff that works for you. Uh, and maybe pull out a, a, an upset here at Mount Olive High School. But the crowd's into it, the fans are really into it. And Mount Olive defense really hunt, keeping them in their game. It's going to be third and about 15. Third and 18, it looks like. Excuse me for the Spartans. Ball's at their 47-yard line. Fratura's in the shotgun formation, two, three to his right. He looks left, fires up the middle, and it's complete. Complete for a first down. Finn Mel, who we used for a touchdown earlier, gets to the 30-yard line, and Sparta on a third and 18, completes a huge pass from Fratura to Mel. First down, Spartans. That's a big play. Sparta in a hurry up now. Trips to the right. Fratura has it, he looks right, takes it himself up the middle, gets to the 30, gets taken down about the 26-yard line. Ryan Schaefer on the stop for Mount Olive, and I think Sparta's going to take their second timeout of the half here with about 39 seconds left to play here. A timeout for the Spartans. So that, again, I talk about plays that have... Big meeting in this game, and I, I don't mean to keep harping on that second drive by Mount Olive, but that's something they're going to 
think about all night if they can't come back and win this game. And at third down and 18, letting Fratura complete that pass to Mel for a first down. That's a, a huge play here in this half. And Sparta now has the ball at the 26-yard line. And they can really, I mean, when you got a quarterback who can heave it up there, one play can get you in the end zone. No question from here. So they got to be feeling pretty good with how things have turned out here. If they can go into the half 14-0 with the lead 14-0, they feel pretty good about it. Even though Mount Olive's defense, I think, has played a pretty solid game. It's really, they've been out on the field most of this first half. 39 seconds to play. Sparta now ready. Trips to the right. Fratura has any rolls to his right. Has some time. Fires on the run complete. That's Schweizer. Taken down about the 20, 20, 21 yard line. Number 16, Ant Moscanello on the stop for Mount Olive. It's a first down for Sparta. And they're in a hurry up. They only got one timeout left to Spartans. Fatura looks to his right, dumps it off. It's incomplete. Oh, wow. What a play by Mount Olive's defense. Number six, swatted down. Ryan Schaefer had a big sack earlier, swatted that pass down from Ventura, trying to get it out to number eight for Sparta. Could not complete it. And it's going to be second down for the Spartans with about 20 seconds here to go. Sparta has one timeout remaining. And that's really going to be the key here. How much time will they take to complete these plays for the Spartans? Fratura has it. Takes it himself up the middle to the 15. Now out to the 10. He gets tripped up at about the 12-yard line. And Sparta, not ideal. They, they wanted him to get out of bounds. He's tripped up in bounds. Number 43, Ant, Ant Moscatello on the stop for Mount Olive. 10 seconds remaining here to go in the first half. Sparta leads 7-0. And I mentioned they wanted him to get out of bounds to stop that clock. A, a positive game for Sparta, no question. And it's third down and about four when they when they start to play up again. But they got no timeouts left. So whatever you run is going to have to either be in the end zone or a quick play on the sidelines to stop, the, stop this clock. So Frank Marciano, we'll see what he draws up here. And we'll see if the Mount Island defense, which has been strong all night, they've been real tough all night. Let's see if they can continue that here with 10 seconds to go in the first half. Sparta leads 7-0. Finn Mel touchdown catch earlier. Fratura now looks to his right. Fires, and it's incomplete. The intended receiver is Matthew Swiser, but it was over his head and incomplete. And it's going to be fourth down for the Spartans with about six seconds to go. Nice to number 13, Matthew Schweizer. Tried a quick pass to Swiser, but just couldn't complete it. It was over his head. And now Sparta in a fourth down situation. Again, I mentioned key plays in this game. Well, Sparta, Sparta's going to kick a field goal here. Wow, Frank Marciano running on his field goal unit here to try and put him up 10-0. Kick is in the air. It's got the distance, and it is good. So Sparta, and the field goal's good. which is six seconds to go till half, kicks the field goal, makes it 10-0 Spartans, and that will mark the end of the first half with your score. The Sparta Spartans 10, the Mount Olive Marauders 0. We'll be back right after this. You're watching more Sussex Sports. Talent Inc. is a full-service waste management company servicing demolition sites, construction projects, factory sites, shopping centers, commercial businesses, and homeowners. Call today at 973-927-2232. WIS gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. Hey, athletes and parents. Customize your home playing surfaces for more practice and more play with driveway basketball lines in any color, with college and NBA three-point lines, and your team logos. Don't forget about custom pull pads. How about a driveway pickleball course or a dedicated backyard court? For all your home sports needs, call or text Mike Westhead at The Sports Installer 
at 973-525-6424. When it comes to sports, we're your home team. Jen Basilino of the Kosher Real Estate Group, LLC, is a Morris County top real estate agent and New Jersey Circle of Excellence award winner year over year that takes the time and care to understand your real estate needs and concerns. She's extremely successful in representing clients in selling and purchasing a home, new construction, townhouses, million-dollar homes, rentals, and even commercial properties. Call her today at 973-202-2103. If you're not getting the most comfort out of your system, check this out. Like the rest of your neighbors, you want your home to be as comfortable and inviting as possible. It's no surprise with the winter storms around here, the demand for system repairs are way up, which means waiting around for a while for a technician to show up and having to be stuck feeling uncomfortable for a long time, which is why at ICS, we make sure to service your home quickly and efficiently so you can get back to feeling warm and comfortable again. So if you don't want to spend your winter freezing your butt off, visit our website. ICSHVAC.com. And now, our next inductee, our second team ever inducted into the Hall of Fame, I ask you to look to the Jumbotron for the 2002 state championship team. Last 
but not least, Morris County Defensive Player of the Year, Kevin Holonsky, captain!
Welcome back here to Mount Olive High School. And at halftime, a beautiful halftime performance by the Mount Olive Band. They also did a Hall of Fame induction during halftime. Big time, big time production for half. Cheerleaders, of course, like we normally see. About ready to start the third quarter. The score is Sparta the Spartans 10, the Mount Olive Marauders 0. Sparta scoring so far in this game. Okay, Austin Fratura threw a touchdown pass 50, 50, to Finn Mel for the lone touchdown in the first quarter for the Spartans. And then it was a field goal, about 37 yard attempt for Braden Canceljack, the kicker for the Spartans, the senior. Made it 10-0, Sparta, and they lead. Now, Spartans have done a good job on offense moving the ball. They just haven't been able to punch it in. Had a couple of penalties on the drive. They fumbled the ball on their own 20-yard line. That's really been the key in this game for Mount Olive. Mount Olive had a good first drive. 
They really did. They had a great first drive, moved the ball nicely down the field. You know, stuff you can work on. Um, but then Sparta fumbled on their own 20, and Mount Olive couldn't score. They, they had the first two plays were stopped. And then on third down and long, Austin, Andrew Drennan, the quarterback, ran it himself, got to the 11-yard line, but was short on fourth down. That was, excuse me. And they turned the ball over on downs. And that's really been the, the, all of Mount Olive's offense. Defensively, I think Mount Olive's played pretty well. they got to be pretty happy. You know, like I mentioned, uh, Fratura's a, a tremendous quarterback. Going to Holy Cross. Uh, just a, a, one of the better quarterbacks in the country. And they've done a good job. Uh, they also got a really good back in Josh Brancy, who does a nice job for them as well. So um, a really, really solid job so far uh, by the Mount Olive defense to keep it 10-0. A couple of turnovers as well on Mount Olive's side. They threw an interception and had a fumble themselves. So this game 10 nothing. they got to be pretty pleased if you're Kevin O'Connor. We'll see what Mount Olive can do. There are some things I'm sure they can work on in the half to uh, One more time. stay in this game, and if not Five, stay in this game, three, to, three, to pull off an upset zero, here nine, against the Spartans. Four, uh, some halftime score. I actually got one halftime score for you. Um, I, I went and, and made a call. The High Point Wildcats are losing to North Warren 7-0 at the half right now. So that is a halftime score if you're interested in that score. I know a lot of maybe Sparta viewers will be interested in uh, a Sussex County foe in uh, High Point. They are losing 7-0 at half. That was about five minutes ago. Uh, I got confirmation on that score. So we're ready to start the third quarter here. Again, I mentioned uh, Sparta scoring opportunities with a touchdown. Finn Mel with the catch. Austin Fratura with the pass. And then a field goal right before the half ended to make it a 10-0 Sparta lead. If you're enjoying this broadcast and you want your game broadcasted like this, professional, graphics, all kinds of stuff, contact George Mura at george at morrisussexsports.com and we'll get your next game on the air. Doesn't matter what sport, you could we, we do soccer, we do all kinds of stuff, you know, basketball in the winter, whatever you want. More Sussex Sports will be there and we'll make it happen. We'll always be happy to come to your county. Doesn't, even though we're called More Sussex Sports, doesn't mean we just do Morris and Sussex County. Any county, wherever you're watching, we'll be there. Also, if you like us, don't miss anything we do. You can do that by subscribing to our YouTube channel, hitting that subscribe button on what you're watching right now. We do 20 to 30 games a week. If you're you know, somebody who is an alumni that loves watch, catching up with their old high school teams or maybe a grandparent who loves watching their grandkids and can't make it out late at night or it gets too cold for you, subscribe. You, you never know what you'll be able to watch. If you're even interested in just sports in general, high school sports, subscribe. We do all the playoff games, all the county championships. You won't miss a thing if you subscribe and we won't spam you. Also, tonight's game is brought to you by the National Football Foundation, the Greater Morris chapter of the National Football Foundation specifically. With the help of the generous support by Atlantic Health Systems and the New York Jets, our mission is to promote the use of amateur football for the development of leadership and sportsmanship and athletic and academic excellence in the Morris County young people by giving a scholar-athlete to one football player at each team's in Morris, Sussex, and parts of Warren County. We also like to thank the Sparta Football Booster Club for their support in this game. Hackensack versus Newton. Hackensack is keeping it close. Third quarter right now. 7-0. The Newton Braves ahead of Hackensack right now. That's a good game. Newton's had a really big year this year. So Hackensack keeping it close uh, in Hackettstown there. Uh, a, a huge game there for the Newton Braves and Hackensack keeping it close. And we have a close one here. Uh, again, if you know, I'm sure there's a lot of people who are Sparta viewers who would love to, to keep up on another Sussex County foe there with the Newton Braves. They lead 7-0 right now uh, in the third quarter. So again, uh, something I wanted to touch about earlier. Uh, I had said to start this game that Jake Asbury was the starting quarterback for the Mount Olive Marauders. When I mentioned the keys to the games, I said, hey, uh, Jake Asbury, he's a sophomore. He he's, hasn't played. It's been Andrew Drennan, the quarterback. Uh, and, you know, just want to kind of make that note there. Uh, it looks like they made a, a change before this game. So um, Andrew Drennan is the quarterback. 6'1", 220. That is when Matt Olive takes the field on offense. 
that is who you're going to see uh, lead their offense. We're going to take a break here at, in Mount Olive. We'll be back right after this for the start of the third quarter. You're watching more Sussex Sports. As the branch manager of our Persephone location for North Point Bank, I can tell you emphatically that our customers continue to sing our praises. Our community values us as much as we at North Point value our team. Our goal is to always exceed our clients' expectations. If you're just zipping through life and need a helping hand with any of your home buying decisions, please give us a call today. Planet Networks. Our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. So fast, it's and we're back. The Mount Olive Marauders taking the field. They're excited. They're in this game here against the Sparta Spartans. 10-0 Sparta. I mentioned earlier that Sparta, a touchdown. Finn Mel caught it. It was Austin Fratura on the pass. And then a Braden Canceljack. About a 37-yard field goal right before the half to take a 10-0 lead for the Spartans. And that is your scoring for the night so far. Mount Olive hasn't been able to put... Uh, any points on the board as of this moment. Sparta's coming off a big win. 35-7, they beat Jefferson on September 30th and looking to go to 4-2 and two on the night. Mount Olive, if you're just joining us, is 0-6 on the year. But they did win this game last year. They beat Sparta last year by a score 13-0. And uh, Sparta, I'm sure, looking for a little payback after that one being shut out by Mount Olive. I mentioned a couple of keys, key injuries. Josh Brancy, he is playing, er, er, to start the game, I mentioned a couple of key injuries. Josh Brancy is playing, of course, for Sparta. We've seen him a lot. Um, and at number eight, as well, has got some action. That's Brendan Cabrera, uh, the junior. He, we've seen him in there as well. So they're sort of splitting that up a little bit. Uh, if you're familiar with Sparta and you're not seeing Brancy in there every game, every play, I should say, uh, that is that is why. As far as Mount Olive is concerned, it's Andrew Drennan who got the start. And so far, uh, they had Mount Olive I mentioned earlier, good first drive, but since then their offense has pretty much stalled. So we'll see if they can muster up something here to start the second half. There's some other out of time scores. Nope, that's the game where there's your score here at half. Just getting ready to go. Mentioned a couple of out of time scores earlier. Third quarter, New and a half, Hackett's, Hackett's down 7 0, and North Warren at high point was 7 0 at, at half going into the third quarter there as well. For Mount Olive, uh, their upcoming schedule, they play October 14th, they play Morris Knowles and finish the regular season October 21st against Wayne Valley. They're coming off an 8-3 year, a lot of injuries this year though, uh, and a younger team for Mount Olive here just looking for their first win. O'Connor uh, in his seventh year as head coach for that team. Just about ready to go, go in here. 
Both teams huddling up, getting ready to start the third quarter. It's a big halftime show here at Mount Olive. If you weren't watching, you went away for a little while. First of all, why? And second, uh, it's a big halftime. There's a big hoopla here. They do a great job. It's a lot of fun to watch. Uh, like I said, cheerleaders, a bunch of band. Band does a, a great show. Uh, they did a uh, Hall of Fame inductions as well. But Sparta will kick off to start the second half. Mount Olive will get the ball. That's Brody Tannery kicking off for the Spartans. The ball fell off the tee. A little windy here in Mount Olive. A little chill in the air. Probably, you know, not, not like yesterday. Well, yesterday was a beautiful day here in northern New Jersey. Today a little chilly, but if you're a football fan, ah, beautiful football weather. Zapata at number four is deep for Mount Olive. One of the men deep for Mount Olive. Kick is in the air. End over end. Field at the 25 yard line. A short kick for Sparta. Play to the 30. To the 35. That's number 11. And if Agadomo for Mount Olive on, on a return, but there's a flag on the play. Number six. We'll see what the referees call here. It looks like it's going to be on Mount Olive. So they had a, a chance to start with good field position. The, right about the 36 yard line, that's where the ball is spotted. Referees getting together to discuss the penalty. Penalty flags on, on Mount Olive's side of the field, laying right around the 26 yard, 27 yard line. That's why you would think it's Mount Olive, and it is. Didn't see the call there, I apologize. But they're going to move the ball back to the 28 yard line. To me, that's a 23. So it was a 10 yard penalty, but and that's where Mount Olive will take over first and 10. Drennan is the quarterback. As it looks, hands off to the right, to the left side. Gave a few. Number five, that's Jackson Utes on a run for Mount Olive. Five, gain of five or six, a nice little positive gain for the Marauders, and it's second down. Second down, Mount Two receivers, one right, one left for Drennan. He takes it, hands off to the left side, and more. That's Jackson Youths. First down, Marauders. I mentioned Mount Olive earlier that they really couldn't get much going on the, much going other than their first drive. Their first drive, they, re they relied heavily on Rondell Derrick, the running back, uh, in that first drive. He, he really had a, a, a monster first drive. And now it seems like they're going Jackson Muse. So maybe there was something they discussed at halftime, some adjustments here that Mount Olive has made. Muse didn't really see a carry in the first half. And now has two to start the second half. Drennan has it. Hands off again. It's Youths to the left side. Three, maybe four. Alex Yerovavev at the bottom of the pile for the Spartans for 69. Mentioned him earlier. They got a big uh, defensive line. He's six foot 280. That's a lot of person to, to be pushing around in that offensive line. For that offensive line of, of Mount Olive. Shoots again. To the left side, he's got some room. Gets past to the 40, to the 45, out to the, close to the 50. And a first down from Mount Olive. Jackson Youths looking good here to start this second half. And a second first down for Mount Olive. Hunter Peterson. 6'2", 275. The other defensive tackle on a stop for Sparta. I mentioned they're big up front. 6'2", 280, and 6'2", 275. That's their defensive tackles for the Spartans. But first down, Matt Olive. Drennan and shotgun. Again, hands off the use. Goes to the left side. Has some room. Gets close to a first down. Gain of about eight to the 45 of Sparta. Greg Peters on a stop for the Spartans. It's funny, Mount Olive isn't getting real creative here. They've been handing it off to Jackson Youths. A little bit of a different way they've been getting him the ball. 
but ultimately it's been used running to the left side, and they found a hole they like, a play they like, an error they like, and they've exploited it, and they've moved the ball down to the Sparta 45. Drennan in shotgun. He looks back, rolls to his left, and he's taken down. Sacked by number three, J by number three, Hunter Choldenicki. Was there for Sparta to bring him down, and that is a huge loss of about six, seven for Mount Olive, and it's going to be third and about eight. So Sparta, right when you thought maybe their defense was a little vulnerable here, gets a big sack on Drennan, and it's starting long for the Marauders. Drennan now barking out singles, but now they, they want to they see something on the Sparta defense. Now he's talking to his offensive lineman. Sparta defense anxiously, anxiously waiting. Two receivers to the left, one to the right, and there's a whistle. Flag on the play. It's going to be delay a game on Mount Olive, so that's not what they wanted to happen at all. A good drive here, a sack. It was second and short. They went back for a pass, got sacked, lost about six, and now a delay of game penalty on the Marauders brings it to third and 13. So I mentioned Mount Olive really needing a good drive here to start this second half. Now in some trouble. And he's sort an interception already tonight, Drennan. Third and long, he's back. He gets pressure, and they dump it off, and it is completed, but hit hard. Right at the original line of scrimmage. Hunter Cholomicki with the tackle for the Spartans. That was Jackson Youths on the reception. He got lit up. Back to the original line of scrimmage. It's going to be fourth and ten for Mount Olive, and they're going to punt. So a promising drive gets stalled by a sack and a delay a game penalty. And out of punt formation for Mount Olive. Ryan Mazuchik punting for the Marauders. He has it. Kick is in the air end over end. It bounces at about the 27-yard line and takes a Mount Olive roll. And a roll to the four, to the three, maybe even to the two-yard line where Mount Olive rolled down it. First and 10, Sparta at the two-yard line. So a great kick. That's the second time today. And that, those kicks are a little tough to read. Uh, back was Josh Brancy was back there for Sparta. It's the second time he's kind of gotten fooled on the kick. Let it bounce, and it rolled a good distance. And now it's the second time that the Spartans have been down in their five-yard line. And now it's on their two. First and ten Spartans. Fratura has it. Hands off. That's Brandon Cabrera. Short gain, maybe two. Lincoln Youths, number 27 there, as well as number 58 for Mount Olive, Nico D'Amico. Second down for the Spartans. Second and about seven, ball to five. Hands off, no fake. He's gonna take it himself, goes to the right, has some room. First down and more, out to about the 18 yard line before getting taken down. That is Austin Fertura. Not only can do it with his arm, but can do it with his legs when he has to, and does there, first down Spartans. You have to wonder if this Mount Olive defense, even though they come in from the halftime here, they're starting to, the time on the field starting to catch up with them a little bit. They've been on the field a lot here so far in this game. Fatura has it. Fake handoff. He fires it, and it's complete. Matthew Swicer, first down and more. He is down about the 45-yard line. Gain about 15. First and 10 Spartans. First down Spartans. Let's see if Mount Olive's defense, which has been tough all night, if they can keep it up. Two receivers to the left of Fratura, one to his right. Cabrera in the backfield. He gives to, he takes it himself. I got fooled there. Up the middle, close to a first down. A bunch of marauders are there. 
Lincoln Youths on the bottom of the pile for Futura. He gains about nine as he's second and one. So Futura, who we didn't really see use his legs all that much in the first half. The first drive for the Spartans here in the second half. Showing what he can do on the ground. Under five minutes to play in the third quarter. Futura has it. Fakes it, fires it, in the middle complete. First down and more to the 45. 44 yard line for getting taken down. That is Finn Mel, who has a touchdown earlier in the game. Now into Marauders territory, first and 10, Sparta. First down, Sparta. Jackson Hughes on the stop there. You got to wonder if that drive coming out of the half was demoralizing for Mount Olive. They had a chance to do something. That's a handoff to Cabrera. He goes to the right side. Bounces off a tackler. Continues. Bunch of marauders still have to bring him down. Take it to the 40-yard line. Game about four. More than five. They mark it at the 44-yard line. And that's where Sparta will take over second in about four. But that first drive, you know, maybe get you back in that game. You put some points on the board. And you're feeling good about yourself. Maybe it reju rejuvenizes the Marauders, but they weren't able to do that. A penalty, a sack. And it looks like a flag's on the play here. It's probably going to be a Mount Olive for a neutral zone infraction. Let's see if that is indeed the call. It is. Offside, neutral zone infraction on the Marauders. That should bring, should be a first down for Sparta. The ball now at the 34-yard line. Futura ha hands off to Cabrera. Cabrera stopped right at the line of scrimmage. A nice play. Number, eight, number five, Jackson Youths there, as well as the initial hit given by number 26, Dan McGarry. The sophomore McGarry having a big game on defense, 5'10", 190. Stop Cabrera at the line of scrimmage. It's second and long for Sparta. Trips to the left now for Futura. He has it. Looks to his right. Rolls back. Escapes the pressure, but he gets sacked. Lincoln Youths, number 27 on the sack for Mount Olive. Keeping Mount Olive in this game is their defense. And it's going to be third and 14 for Sparta with just over three minutes to play here in the third quarter. Great job so far, a, a stuffed run by the defense of Mount Olive, and then a sack, and it makes it third and 14 for Sparta. And now Sparta in a little bit of a hole here. Sparta getting set up. Nick Ryan moves to the right. Finn Mel moves to the left. Fatura rolls back, has time, looks to his left, fires down the middle of the field, and it's incomplete. Looked like there may have been some contact, but not enough to draw the flag. Matthew Swizer was the intended target. Good coverage, Anif Agudobo. For Mount Olive, Agudobo the junior, 5'11", 170. On Swizer like glue. And it's going to be fourth and 14 for the Spartans. Sparta's going to go for it here. Oh, excuse me, they're in punt formation. I they're going to punt. Punt is in the air. Ball bounces about the 15 yard line and will roll out of bounds right about the 16 yard line. And that is when Matt Olive will take over first and 10. Zapata was back deep for the Marauders. This game is brought to you by the National Football Foundation, specifically the greater Morris chapter of the National Football Foundation. With the help of the generous support by Atlantic Health System and the New York Jets, our mission is to promote the use of amateur football for the development of leadership, sportsmanship, and athletic and academic excellence in Morris County's young people by giving a scholar-athlete to one football player at each team in Morris, Sussex, and parts of Warren County. Also, we'd like to thank the Sparta Football Booster Club for their support in tonight's game. Sparta leads 10-0. Mount Olive has the ball first and 10. 17-yard line. Trenton back. He hands it off. 
That's huge to the left. Has some room. Gets to the 25, to the 27 yard line. Good enough for a, a Mount Olive first down. Jackson Youths, who we didn't see run the ball at all in the first half. Having a big second half. First down for Mount Olive. And their defense keeping them in this game. It's again, Youths up the middle this time. Plows over a defender. Getting about six. Tackle credited to number 18 for Sparta. That's Brody Tannery, the sophomore middle linebacker. And so a nice little drive here again. This second drive of the half for Mount Olives. Going to be second in about five. Mentioned earlier, both teams have similar style offenses. So if they look the same, that's why. Bounces it to the outside, but he gets taken down. Read beautifully. Number 10 for Sparta, Greg Peters. The junior, six foot 180. Read that one like a book. And a loss of about one for Mount Olive. It's going to be third down and five. So we'll see what Mount, Mount Olive draws up here. Now they're going to change something. They see something on Sparta's defense that they think they can exploit. Now Sparta looks like they're going to try and bring some pressure. Dredden has it. And he hands it off to you. He goes to the right, has some room, gets to close to a first down. That's about five. It's they're going to give it a first down. So a little bit of creativeness there on the counter. First down, Mount Olive. 26 seconds remain here in this third quarter. Nice lengthy drive by Mount Olive Bowl. They started this drive right around their 16, 17 yard line. They've gotten it up to around their 40, trying to see if they can do more. Drennan has it. Hands off, that's used to get up the middle. Moves a couple of guys, getting about three. He's running hard, that's Jackson Youths. Give him some credit. At, it's not an easy hit to take. I mentioned earlier that Yerovev is six foot 280, and he pretty much ran him over there for a gain of three yards. That'll mark the end of the third quarter. Your score to Sparta Spartans 10. The Mount Olive Moors zero, but driving. You're listening, you're watching more Sussex Sports. Closing situations and timelines. I have to say without a doubt, Family First is the best in the business, and I strongly recommend them if you're looking to finance or refinance your home. And we're back here at Morris, Mount Olive High School. The score, Sparta Spartans 10, Mount Olive Marauders 0, but Mount Olive driving here to end the third quarter. If you're enjoying this broadcast and you want a game broadcasted with a professional telecast like this with all the graphics, announcers, reach out to George Mura. Muha, George Muha from Sus Morris Sussex Sports. That's George at MorrisSussexSports.com. We'll get your next game on the air in any sport. And even though we're called Morris Sussex Sports, it doesn't matter what county you're in, we'll come to you. We're always happy to broadcast your next game. Also, if you're, you're watching us on Twitter, so hit that subscribe button. We broadcast 20 to 30 games a week and telecast all the big playoff games, county championships, and the best games in the era. We don't want you guys to miss a thing, so hit that subscribe button and you won't. Second down and seven for Mount Olive. That's Jackson Utes again, takes it himself. Gets taken down. Greg Peters on the stop for Sparta. Finn Mel is there as well. Third down here for Mount Olive. Just beginning the fourth quarter. We'd also like to thank the Sparta Football Booster Club for sponsoring tonight's action. Be third and eight for Mount Olive. 
Two receivers to the left, two to the right for Drennan. Youths is in the backfield behind him. Drennan barking signals to his offensive lineman. Five seconds to go on the play clock. He has it. Oh, and, a, and a fumble and recovered by Sparta. Number 10, Greg Peters on a recovery for Sparta. It looked like there was a miscommunication in the backfield of not Olive. Jackson Youths went one way, Andrew Drennan went another, and that really is what turned that play on its side for Mount Olive. Ended up being a fumble. Sparta recovers, and one of the moralizing drives. Mount Olive had a chance to get back in this game. Their defense has been playing great all night, and a fumble, the third turnover of the night, and Sparta takes over first and 10 from Mount Olive's 38-yard line. Sparta now has it on offense. Two to the left, one to the right receivers. Now motion to the left to put trips. It's a handoff up the middle. Gets about five. Brandon Cabrera, Cabrera the runner for the Spartans. Gets to the 33 of Mount Olive. Second and five. Trips to the left. He fires to his left. That is Nick Ryan. Ryan breaks the tackle, breaks another tackle. Hit at the, about the 20 yard line, drags a couple defenders to the 16. A big play for the Spartans here. We're gonna see how that happened here in a second. Just a simple, simple pass pattern. Here for the Spartans. Fratura just throws it on a, on a wide receiver screen. They're playing back. A missed tackle, another missed one. And Nick Ryan had a big gain in the first half for Sparta. And they're in business here at the 17-yard line of Mount Olive. Fratura has it, drops back, and it's intercepted! Intercepted by Mount Olive! Ball is deflected at the line of scrimmage. Number 27, Lincoln Youths on the interception, and Mount Olive's defense keeping them in this game with 9.43 to go. An interception they pick off. Fratura, we're gonna take a look at that one again. It was deflected at the line of scrimmage here. That's the run that was previously done there by Nick Ryan, but it was deflected at the line of scrimmage. Mount Olive takes over first and 10 at the 22 yard line. Wow, what an interception there by Lincoln Youths for Mount Olive. And I'll tell you what, their defense keeping them in this ball game with, with just over 10 minutes to play here in Mount Olive. It looked like Sparta was in complete control, and now Mount Olive's got a second life here. Drennan in shotgun. He hands it off. That's Jackson Youths. Hit, mi makes a tackle, miss. Takes it out to about the 26 yard line. Gain about four. Jackson Youths, his brother, Lincoln with the big interception. It's been an all youths second half so far for Mount Olive. Jackson with the running, Lincoln on defense. And there's Jackson again has it. Has a blocker. Gets to about the 30 yard line. He's gonna be about two yards short of a first down. It's gonna be third and two. Clear down for your Marauders. So now Mount Olive, they'll line up with a receiver to the right, receiver to the left. Youths in the backfield behind Drennan. Hands off to Youths again. He's got a first down and more to the right, to the left side. Gets out to the 35 yard line. First down, Mount Olive. Josh Brancy on the stop for the Spartans. 36 yard line for Mount Olive, first and 10. Eight. Just under nine minutes to play here in the game. Mount Olive keeping it close here. Two score game, 10 nothing Sparta. Drennan, that's Rondell Derrick this time. Gets dashes to the 40 yard line, almost to the 41. Depends on the spot, it's gonna be at the 41 yard line. A nice gain of about five. 
So Derek who had a good first drive. We haven't seen him much since then, but now he's got some speed. You got the, the big bruising back in Jackson Youths, and now it's Rondell Derrick, the speedster in for Mount Olive at running back. He takes it himself, goes to the left side, has some room, gets to about the 45-yard line, uh, about two yards short of a first down. Greg Peters looked to be there for the Spartans, number 10. Derrick is a sophomore, 170, 5'10". Jackson Utes is a senior, 2'10". Utes in the backfield this time. Third and two for Mount Olive. It's a hands off to Utes. He goes to the left. He makes, hits a guy, gets a first down. Oh, got to give Jackson Utes some credit there. Plowed over a, a defenseman. That was 73 for Sparta Hunter Peterson, who attempted to make a tackle and Utes plowed right through him for Mount Olive. First down ball at the 47 yard line for Mount Olive. 48, excuse me. First down for them. So big drive for the Marauders. Takes it, and that's Utes again. He goes up the middle, has some room. To the 45, he's running hard. Still up on his feet, out to the 44-yard line of Sparta. Jackson Utes, what a big second half he's had. And there's a late flag on the play. It looks like it could be on Sparta as a Mount Olive of offense of player is clapping his hands. We'll see what the call is, but this could be a personal foul on Sparta. Personal foul is indeed on, on the Spartans. Not what you want here at a close game. It's gonna be a 15-yard penalty. We're gonna take a look at that last run there for Jackson Youths here. Just a bruiser. And I mean, give him some credit. Made a couple of guys miss. Had a couple of Spartans on their back. And Frank Marciano, interesting strategy here. He's gonna take a timeout. We will too here. We'll discuss this time out and more as we come back. You're watching more Sussex Sports. I was born fast. Parisi made me faster. I thought I could jump. Parisi brought me to new heights. I wasn't always quick. Parisi made me lightning fast. Strength was never my strength. Parisi changed all that. Welcome back to Mount Olive High School. Spartans, Spartans 10, Mount Olive 0. The National Football Foundation, Greater Morris Chapter of the National Football Foundation help sponsor tonight's event with the help of the generous support by Atlantic Health System and the New York Jets. Our mission is to promote the use of sportsmanship Use of amateur football for the development of leadership, sportsmanship, and athletic academic excellence in Morris County's young people by giving a scholar athlete to one football player in each team in Morris, Sussex, and parts of Warren counties. We also like to thank the Sparta Booster Club for support of tonight's game. That was a first down for Mount Olive. It's going to be second down. They gained about three. But an interesting timeout by Frank Marciano there. I think he saw his team getting a little bit frustrated and saying, listen, we still got a 10-0 lead. Don't do anything stupid. They had a big 15-yard penalty, and they called the timeout right after that. It's Jackson Hughes to the left side. He's running hard. Gain of about four. It's going to be third down and... Oh, sorry, that was a not as far as I thought they got. Gain about two. It's going to be third and six here for Mount Olive. But to kind of talk up his guys a little bit, say, hey, we still got a lead. Just don't do anything stupid. Don't give him free yards. And Utes gets taken down. It seemed to work that time out for sure. Matthew Schweizer on the stop for Sparta. And it's going to be fourth down for Mount Olive. So a good drive here. Looks to be stalling about the 25-yard line of Sparta. Kevin O'Connor is going to go for it here on fourth down and about five. Mount Olive has three turnovers today. Sparta has two. Drennan... The quarterback fakes, rolls to his right, fires deep downfield, incomplete. It's going to be short of first down. Oh, there's a flag, a late flag. Oh, my goodness. There was contact there. And it's going to be on Sparta. Frank Marciano, the head coach of the Spartans, is not happy. We'll see if they, if they get together and wave that off. It was a bang, bang play. It's going to be a pass interference on the Spartans and a first down for Mount Olive. 
it was a bang bang play there, no question about it. But they're gonna call a pass interference on the Spartans. And now Mount Olive will have the ball first and 10 at, their, at Sparta's 12 yard line. Mark that play down, that pass interference there on fourth down. I mentioned no stupid penalties. That's what Frank Marciano said to his guys. That's another penalty there of 15 yards and a free set, a free set of downs there for Mount Olive. That's Jackson Hughes again up the middle. Doesn't really gain a whole lot there. And then we'll see if Sparta's defense can hold them now. Just over five minutes to play, 10-0 Spartans. Drennan has it, hands off to use again to the left side, up to, gets to about the eight yard line. Game up two, Hunter Peterson there for the Spartans. Third and about eight. And you got to believe here if you're four down territory, if you're Kevin O'Connor. So that will affect the play call here for Mount Olive, no question. Third and eight. Trying to look deep in the end zone, touchdowns! Mount Olive! Touchdown, Mount Olive! And Moscanello! Catches it in the end zone. A beautiful thrown up ball by Andrew Drennan. And Matt Olive is on the board with just over four minutes to play in the fourth quarter. It's 10 6, Spartans. Wow, what a drive by Matt Olive. Ended by two penalties. We're going to take a look at that one again. A great job by Drennan. They had an idea where they wanted to go. He looks towards Moscadello, and he was wide open in the end zone. He got past a couple of defenders, particularly Brancy. And he caught it right on the side of the end zone, right by the M in Mount Olive. And now the score as the extra point goes through, and it is good. Your score, the Sparta Spartans 10, the Mount Olive Marauders 7. Just over four minutes to play. We'll be back right after this. You're, listening, you're watching more Sussex Sports. trucker or a landscaper, accountant or carpenter, needing workers' compensation, general liability, or commercial auto insurance, Gladstone Coverage Group has you covered. Gladstone Coverage Group is a one-stop agency specializing in many types of insurance, including life, personal, business, and Medicare supplement insurance, as well as employee benefits. So and we're back here at Mount Olive High School. What a turn of events here. Sparta had the ball in Mount Olive territory with about 10 minutes, nine minutes to go in the game. Ball was deflected and it was intercepted by Mount Olive. Mount Olive drove down the field and scored a touchdown here with just over four minutes to play. And now it's 10-7 Sparta. And I mentioned Mount Olive's defense. They've come up big. They're gonna have to come up big again here if they wanna win this football game. But what a turn of events here at Mount Olive High School. That drive aided by a couple of Sparta penalties, a couple of personal fouls. As that kick goes to about the 18 yard line, Sparta will field it. That's number nine for Sparta. Nick Ryan, he had a good return to out to the 35 yard line. And that's where Sparta's gonna take over first and 10. But a, a particularly a pa uh, illegal contact after the play, I should say was a 15-yard penalty personal foul on Sparta, and then a pass interference that was questionable. It looked bang, bang to me, but Mount Olive got the call. That put him down at about the 11-yard line, and they were able to punch it in from there with a touchdown pass from Andrew Drennan to Ant Moscatello. So now Sparta has it. First and 10, 34-yard line of their own. It's a handoff. That's Brancy. Gets a couple. Number 22. Josh Brancy. 43. Ant Moscatello. Ant Moscatello, who caught that ball for the touchdown, was there on a tackle. Moscatello is a senior, 6'1, 205. Oh, 
Sparta has two receivers lined up to Fratello's right. One to the left to handoff. That's Brancy. Dashes at the 40. To the 45. He has some room out to the 50. First down, Sparta. He's shaken out of bounds. Chased out of bounds by number nine, Joe Abruski. And it's a first down for the Spartans. So that's exactly what Sparta needs to do here. Not only get the first downs, but run the ball, keep this clock moving, force Matt Alba to take some timeouts. And really end this game. It's a lot closer than Sparta wanted it to be coming in. Matt Olive has played tough, no question about it, especially on defense. First and 10, Sparta, 49-yard line. It's a handoff. That's Bruski again, outside to the 50, to the 45, to the 40. Has some room to the 35, and it gets taken out of bounds by Joe Bruski again. So now Sparta starting to move the ball. I mentioned that time on the time of possession. Sparta's pretty much had the ball for most of the first. They had it for most of the first half. A nice drive by Matt Olive in the second half here to put it in the end zone. But you have to wonder if that first half and how long Matt Olive's defense was on the field is starting to take its toll. 36-yard line of Mount Olive. That's where Sparta has a first and 10. Two to the left, one to the right receivers. Once again, that's Brancy. He has some move up the middle. Gain about six out to the 30-yard line of Mount Olive. 321 to play and ticking. You have to wonder if Kevin O'Connor wants to use his timeouts here. Maybe on a third down he will. It's a third down. Sparta taking their time. Smart clock management by Frank Marciano. Make, take as much time as you can. As much as Mount Olive, as well as they've played, they haven't shown that they can score fast. And so you want to make as much time off this clock. Take as much time off this clock if you're Frank Marciano and Sparta. Their offense has been running the ball really well, Mount Olive, so it takes a lot of time off the clock. 2.46 to play in counting. Sparta still. Take as much time off the clock as you can. Under five on a play clock. Hands off, Brancy goes to the left, has some room, bounces it back to the middle. It's gonna be a Sparta first down to the 24 yard line. 22, Josh Brancy now. Yeah, Trying to put this game on ice for the Spartans. 2.30 to play. First and 10 Spartans. Again, the Spartans taking their time. You have to wonder when O'Connor, if at all, he's going to use this timeout. He wants to save him for his offense, I'm sure. But you can't let too much time click off the clock here. 2.15 and counting. Hands off up the middle. That's Cabrera. He gets hit. Taken down by number 27, Lincoln Utes. Who had the interception earlier. And this time, here O'Connor takes a timeout for Mount Olive. You had to wonder when he was going to take him. He takes it here with two minutes and one second left to play in the game. We'll take a timeout here as well. We'll be back right after this. You're watching more Sussex Sports. Burns partner, protecting you and future generations. Contact Tyler Brinson at 908-698-0477 or by email at tylerb at gladstonecoverage.com and tell him more Sussex Sports sent you. Welcome back to Mount Olive High School. Two minutes, one second left to play. Sparta Spartans 10, Mount Olive Marauders 7. If you're enjoying this broadcast, how could you not be? And you want your game broadcasted with a professional telecast like this, reach out to George Muha. George at morrisussexsports.com will get your next game on the air for any sport. doesn't matter if it's football. Whatever sport you like, whatever sport you want on the air, we'll get it on. And even though we're called Morris Sussex Sports, we're happy to come to your county and broadcast your next game. Also, subscribe so you won't miss great action like this. Second down and eight for Sparta. Hands off. That's Cabrera up the middle. Hit it as soon as he gets a couple of yards. Number six, Ryan Schaefer for Mount Olive with a big tackle. And again, a timeout for Mount Olive. O'Connor using his timeouts here. About 1.52 left on the game clock. Yeah, subscribe, guys. You won't miss great action like this. Been a heck of a, it's been a barn burner, it really has. Sparta, two scores early in the first half. Their scoring came on an Austin Frutera touchdown pass to Finn Mel in the first quarter to make it 7-0 Sparta. Then a field goal right before the end of the first half by Braden Canceljack to make it 10-0. 
There was no scoring in the third quarter. In the fourth quarter, Mount Olive scored a touchdown. It was Andrew Drennan to Ant Moscatello to make it 10-7, and that's where we're at here in this game. 10-7. I believe Mount Olive has a timeout remaining. Sparta used one. Sparta has two. Mount Olive has one. 152 to play. Fatella has it, and it's a handoff. Up the middle. That's 22. Josh Brancy. 22. Is he close to a first down? But he says yard, about a yard short. And Mount Olive's going to take a timeout again. O'Connor uses it. It's going to be fourth and one for Sparta when we come back here on more Sussex Sports. At number five, here is Mendham's Liam Lloyd with the snipe past Morristown goalie Dylan Peck for his 10th goal of the year. Daniel Leonard with great defense to steal the puck back, moving behind the goal to pass it back into the middle to Ryan Leonard with a first-time shot to make it 3-1 for Bernard's first whipping. Coming in at number three is Par Regional's Dylan Zelinskis on a great individual effort, creating a breakaway opportunity for the goal as Par Regional breaks through for their first win of the season. First town with the pressure on all of the Mendham players to give Harry Stetton an incredible breakaway to fake out the goal. Welcome back. This is it. This is the game right here for Mount Olive. They can stop Sparta on a fourth and one. They will get the ball back with no timeouts remaining, but if Sparta can gain that yard, they can ice it by sitting on it. It's a big play here. Fourth and one for Sparta. Brancy's in the backfield. Brancy takes it up the middle. Close to a first down. I don't know if he got it. Mount Olive, a bunch of Mount Olive players there. It depends on the spot. And it is close. It is real close. The referees looks like they're spotting it right around the 15-yard line. O'Connor is on the sideline of, of Mount Olive saying they didn't get it. And they didn't get it. Mount Olive will get the ball back with just about 1.34 to go. What a stand by the Mount Olive defense. They went under center there, Sparta. And uh, you know, I honestly, I honestly thought they had a back in the backfield even move early, and the referees missed it. But take a look at it again. You'll see they ran up the middle with, with Brancy and just an excellent job by the Mount Olive defense here. Uh, particularly number 21 was the first Tanner Tien Perez the first to lay a hand on him and Brancy was short of the line just short about an inch and a half short so here we go now a minute 34 to go here at Mount Olive High School first and 10 Mount Olive Drennan has it he rolls to his right fires to the left and it is incomplete Anthony Moscadello who caught the touchdown pass earlier was the intended target it's broken up by Sparta. It's going to be second and long. One minute and 30 seconds remain. Mount Olive has no timeouts remaining. Sparta has two. Drennan rolls back. Tries to find somebody. Throws it. Incomplete. Looked like the intended target might have been number 33, Rondell Derrick. But pressure immediately brought by Sparta. Drennan had to get rid of it. And we'll see, there's, so it looks like there's some confusion here from Mount Olive. Now they're getting lined up. Third down and long. Mount Olive in desperate need of a first down. And then they gotta hurry it up. Drennan in shotgun. He's got three trips to the left, one to the right. He takes it, looks to his left. Rolls to his left. Now he escapes some pressure. Drennan has it to the 15. Tries to make a man miss. And he goes down about the eight, 17, 18 yard line. Finn Mel, the outside linebacker there, tackle him down. Gave about three. It's going to be fourth and seven for Mount Olive with just about a minute 14 to play. Drennan has it. Mount Olive in hurry up offense here. He has to play. Now he's going to discuss it and tell it to his offensive lineman what they're calling. Two to the left, two to the right for Drennan. He has it. Looks to his right, escapes some pressure, but now has to take it himself. Gets to the 20-yard line, gets ripped down, and he's going to be short of a first down marker. That could be the game. Greg Peters with a big tackle for Sparta, and that should end this ball game. What an effort by Mount Olive. Just weren't able at the end... Weren't able to gain a first down when they had to. 
in crunch time. Sparta's going to take over here. First and ten at the 22 yard line, but uh, 20 at the 20 yard line. But you expect them here to sit on it. As Matt Olive has no timeouts to stop the clock, they will. Fratura takes a knee. They'll have to take one more here as the play clock is at about 38 seconds. So he's got to take one more here. And that will end this game. But what a matchup. And Mount, Sparta will beat Mount Olive. Sparta will move to 4 and 2. Mount Olive 0 and 7. But if you're Brian O'Connor, what an effort Mount Olive put out there today. Even though they came in at 0 and 6, and Sparta at 3 and 2, they gave, gave them a game right down to the last seconds here on more Sussex Sports. And what a game that was. But Sparta will win. Again, they move to 4-2 on the year. Mount Olive falls to 0-7. We'll be back right after this to talk about it. You're watching more Sussex Sports. Goal for Morristown. Finally at number one, it's Pope John star Alana Robinson with the crossover against Sparta's Bryn McCurry and finishes with a smooth jumper. Let's take a look at that again, but in slow motion. The wrap-up reports top five plays of the week are brought to you by Planet Networks provides award-winning high-speed fiber internet, telecommunications, and managed technology services, keeping essential information, technology systems, and connections updated, safe, and secure 24-7 require specialized expertise and support. Planet Networks delivers as a trusted partner, enabling you to accomplish your personal and professional goals. For more information, visit planet.net or stop in and visit the local Newton or Denville offices and tell them more Sussex Sports. Just wrapping up things here at Morris Sussex Sports at Mount Olive High School. The final score of tonight's game, Sparta Spartans 10, Mount Olive Marauders 7. The scoring for tonight's game, Austin Fatura touchdown pass to Finn Mell in the first quarter, put Sparta ahead 7-0. And then it was a Braden Can Canceljack field goal to put Sparta ahead 10-0 right before the half. That was it for Sparta. They didn't score again in the game. Mount Olive went and scored a touchdown with just about five minutes to play in the game. It was a Andrew Jenner touchdown pass to Ant Moscadero to make it 10-7. Mount Olive was able to hold Sparta on a late fourth and one and get the ball back with about a minute to play. But Sparta's defense came up big, stopped Mount Olive, and hung on for a 10-7 victory here at Mount Olive High School. I'd like to thank everybody for a part of today's game. I'm Clayton Caldwell. I'd like to thank William Deans and Matthew Magira on camera. Great job tonight, guys. We'll see you next time.